टुडे वी विल मेक प्रोबेबली द मोस्ट लाइक्ड वेजिटेरियन डिश इट्स कॉल्ड कड़ी पकौड़ा इन डिफरेंट एरियाज इट इज कुकड इन डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स वी विल कुक इट इन पंजाबी स्टाइल टुडे फुल ऑफ फ्लेवर एंड स्पाइसिस माइन विल बी अ बिट ऑन द स्पाइसिस साइड बट यू कैन एडजस्ट इट अकॉर्डिंगली इट ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम द राजस्थान एरिया इन इंडिया बेसिकली इट्स अ थिक ग्रेवी बेस्ड ऑन ग्राम फ्लावर एंड कर्ड दैट कंटेन्स वेजिटेबल फिटर्स कॉल्ड पकौड़ाज सो लेट स्टार्ट warm up the pan and add 3 tablespoons of oil add 2 to 3 bay leaves add 1 teaspoon crushed mustard seeds or raidana roast them for 1 minute just wait for their fragrance and then add half cup of roughly chopped onions fry the onions until they are light golden After that add 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste fry it uh, just for 1 minute add 4 to 5 thai green chilies add 1 tablespoon of coriander powder 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder now i'm adding 1 tablespoon of more oil to fry the masala thoroughly As we will fry pakoras and also we do tadka to curry later we are not using that much oil at this step Add 1 tablespoon of crushed chili flakes Add one large tomato add a bit of water Cover it for 2 to 3 minutes Now the tomato is soft we will remove its peel and fry the masala until they release their oil while our masala is cooking let's do our main step we will create a blend of gram flour and curd take 1 cup of gram flour and add 3 cups of yogurt and 2 cups of water i'm going to blend them in electric blender but if you don't have you can use a hand whisker for blending them but make sure blend should be very smooth and not lumpy anymore Now our masala and blend both are ready as the oil is separated from the masala time to add our blend into it to cook the curry add more 8 cups of water turn your stove top from medium to high flame and keep mixing as when it will start to boil there is a risk uh, that it will get stuck to the base during this time you make sure you are not doing anything else and just focusing on the mixing after the first boil turn the flame to low now your curry should cook on low flame meanwhile we will make the batter of fritters or pakoras actually we take same quantity of gram flour for curry and pakoras like 1 uh, cup for curry and 1 cup for pakoras but here i am taking half cup more of it for pakoras because my family love them and they eat while i'm frying them so if you are taking 1 cup of gram flour you can reduce your spices accordingly 1 tablespoon crushed chili flakes 1 tablespoon coriander powder and 1 teaspoon cumin powder now i'm adding 1 teaspoon a uh, salt or according to your taste add half teaspoon red chili powder 1/4 teaspoon turmeric add 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste add 1 large chopped onion add half teaspoon garam masala 2 pinches of ajwain or carom seeds add half tablespoon pomegranate seeds or anar dana this is soaked and washed i'm adding 1 and 1/2 cup of frozen spinach spinach really gives a yummy taste in fritters but definitely you can adjust its quantity accordingly add 1/2 cup of chopped fresh coriander to chopped thai green chilies mix all together our curry is almost cooked you can see the bubbles and its thickness this is a sign like our curry is almost ready okay so pakoda batter is ready i will add a bit of water to make a smooth batter you can taste and adjust the salt in fritters at this stage if you are not sure 
my fritters will be deep fried so i took 3 to 4 cups of oil my flame is medium you can test the oil by putting some batter if it stays on the base your oil is not warm yet if it gets brown quickly it's too hot so make sure oil should not be that hot so let's test our oil as you see my batter didn't stick to the base and not getting brown quickly so it's mean this oil is ready let's fry all pakoras so just make sure the flame is at medium level this is how we will fry all the fritters after they are ready save them aside I wasn't able to record but I added half cup of fresh chopped coriander and half teaspoon of garam masala mix it now we will prepare our tadka add half cup of oil warm it add 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds 4 to 5 dried red chilies add 7 to 8 curry leaves fry for 1 to 2 minutes now remove the pan from the stove and add half teaspoon of red chili powder to give color and extra spice to our tadka if we don't turn off the stove the powder will burn and will smell pretty bad now we will add this tadka to our curry take a look at the color of tadka very yummy and spicy once again look at the texture of curry uh, don't do too thick at this stage as gram flour and pakoras absorb water so it will become thicker anyway it's time to add fritters the reason for adding them now is because they can get soft really quick therefore i'm adding at the end our curry is ready time to serve and eat this delicious pakoda curry Most of the people eat it with boiled rice or chapatis at our home it's mostly eaten with chapatis if you like this recipe hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you try this recipe please comment how it turned out to be and also don't forget to tell me uh, how did you enjoy it with rice or chapati stay happy and enjoy your life bye